Hey everyone, it's Holly. Of course, you notice that I have a Band-Aid on my nose. I have been recently doing some posts explaining that I had skin cancer on my nose and I recently posted the procedure I had at least I was doing a little bit of sharing about what had happened, but I really felt that I needed to do a better update on, well, an update on how things have been going and then just go back and explain really what happened because I feel that when I originally had filmed the things the day of, I wasn't completely with it, especially on the drive home. I was really out of it. I don't think I really gave a good explanation so I'm here today to just explain how the procedure went. I had the procedure Wednesday, today is Sunday, you know, four days later, just where I'm at. I'm really doing this video just to share with others out there that might be having a Mohs surgery coming up, what to expect. I know everyone's situation can be different, but I think the procedure I had was very common, at least that's what the doctor told me. They, they do a lot of these, especially on the nose. If it's gonna be anywhere on the face, they said most of the time it's on the nose. I'm really hoping that I can share my story to help others. If you don't have a procedure coming up and but you would like to just kind of know a little bit more about what's going on, I hope that you will continue to finish watching this video and then maybe share with anyone that you know that has most surgery coming up or has skin cancer. Anyways, I I just wanted to explain what this video is all about in the beginning here. It is now the fourth day since my surgery for my skin cancer on my nose. I'm still just dealing with a lot of pain and still some swelling in my face. I was gonna be doing more updates on post the surgery, but the swelling was so bad that I was just really uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable in the sense I didn't really wanna be filmed and I was also just in a lot of pain. But I really wanted to make a point to document this. I did want to explain a little bit more about how it all went down. I hope that this might be a video that could answer some questions for people that are gonna be having a Mohs surgery to remove skin cancer on their nose. I am not by any means a medical professional. Do not take my advice on this being what exactly is gonna happen. With my situation, it was. That is all I could really offer to you watching this. Backing things up, we will go back to Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, my appointment was for one o'clock p.m. What they did was they brought me into operating room. It was basically looked like any sort of room you would go into if you were visiting a clinic. It's nothing fancy, just has one of those chairs that convert into a bed. They want you laying down flat and they numbed me. I don't know all the names of the stuff they use. Let's just say it's called a local anesthesia that can totally numb up your face. I mean, similar to what you'd get if you were having dental work done. So they give you a shot and the hardest thing to deal with is usually that pinch at the beginning and then slowly everything goes numb. The numbing that I felt went all over my nose and I was starting to feel it in my teeth and around my eye, or my right eye that is. That's just so they can work on it without you feeling uncomfortable. Don't think I could have done it without the painkiller, that's for sure. Then, you know, they come in and they, they start cutting off parts of your skin where the skin cancer is. They explained to me that it's taking little slices, like slicing bread, and they just take these little tiny slices off. And then they, you know, they take it in to look under the microscope that very bottom layer, what they're looking for is it to be cancer free. And then they know that they have cut off enough. While they are doing the biopsy, I had a room to wait in and my husband was there with me. We waited in what they call the recovery room. And it's just a room with, you know, recliners and it's, you know, they try to make it comfortable. There was actually blankets on the chairs. They're that vinyl type of recliner. So it can be wiped down. You know, they can keep things clean in there for a clean environment. They had me in there for, and I think it was about 40 minutes. I think they said 35 to 40 minutes is kind of the waiting time. So after about 40 minutes, they called me in and said, 
I'm sorry, but we still see more cancer. We're gonna have to cut some more. Of course, that's not great to hear, but knew it had to be done. I went in, they had to numb me up a little bit more because the stuff slowly starts wearing off and they wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna be feeling any of the, the scraping or cutting away. So they did the second procedure. Then again, I went and waited for another 40 minutes. I knew I was gonna be waiting a while, so I brought my computer, I brought some things to do. My husband also brought his computer. We both just stayed really busy during that time. I hate saying this because going to any doctor visit is never fun, but since I have four kids that are very busy and active and keep me busy, it's almost like a little vacation getting away from the kids, my husband and I. So we were able to talk as well and just visit somewhat. Then the second procedure, like I said, I went and I waited for them to give me the results. And I was pretty confident that was the last procedure because they said there was just a little more. Sure enough, after that second procedure, they told me that, this is how they put it, they like, good news, it's all gone. Okay, well that is good news, but I knew that that wasn't the end of it because the fact is, I have a big hole on my nose. It was gonna need stitching. I knew that was gonna be the roughest part, having to patch all that back up again. I had actually high hopes that it would have been a little less stitching than previously, like when I had it done nine years ago, because with that procedure, I had to go in three different times because they still weren't getting the cancer out and they had to dig on three different occasions. I was waiting for three different times in the recovery room when I had the stitches done. Then it was a line that they did, but I don't remember it being very big. I mean, back then I thought, ooh, wow, that's terrible. Now having that to compare it to this time around, this one was a lot. It was worse in the sense that it was more stitching. It was just a bigger area. And I don't know if it was because the whole area was wider. I did have the doctor explain to me that the area where it was at on my nose wasn't as easy to just do one line stitch. Before it was higher up on my nose and it was easier then to do a line stitch. Where it was located now, it grows back naturally. They had to actually pull from different parts of the skin on my face is what he explained to me. It's more of a C shape, more of a curve. As you can see, I've got a bandaid over it, so you can't really see just how bad it is right now. I have chosen not to show how bad it is. To me, it's just a little too gross. I'd rather not share it. Hopefully it is healing and I'm doing everything they told me to do to keep it healing properly. I'm keeping it very moist. They told me to put Vaseline on it. Backing up, I'm just kind of skipping ahead. They did the stitching. They put gauze and stick the, the medical tape over the gauze. I just had kind of like a big white thing over my nose when I came home. Of course, that's really freaky to my kids, but I told them, I said, you know, this is just gonna how, how it's gonna look the first day or two. The swelling started really flaring up too by that evening. My eye was really getting swollen. I was even told it might even swell shut. He said, I wouldn't be surprised if your eye completely closes up from the swelling. That is the update on what had happened. I came home, was able to rest a lot, but I was in pain. I will admit I have been in pain. They did not prescribe me anything. They just told me to take Tylenol and ibuprofen for the swelling. So I've been taking both the proper amount that they told me to take. I've been trying to get a lot of sleep too because rest is best. The next day I had really bad swelling. I, I just really couldn't see very well because this eye right here was closed up so much but not enough to like really put all the focus on the other eye. That is what I had to deal with the first couple days of just some really bad swelling. That was definitely challenging. The swelling has gone down as you can see. After 24 hours I was able to take the dressing they called it off of my nose, the original gauze that they put on, and then just have a loose band-aid on it. Once I put the loose band-aid on, it looked kind of better for my kids at least. Not as noticeable. I mean, obviously it's very noticeable. I have a band-aid on my nose. At least gradually gets to be looking a little bit more normal until everything is healed, I guess. I have an appointment Wednesday to have my stitches removed. Today is Sunday, so I have about three days left and I will have the stitching removed, but I will still need to be keeping it moist every day with Vaseline and a loose band-aid. They 
recommend keeping it covered. You could still shower, but just don't let it dry out at all. That is kind of my journey right now with this whole procedure, this whole situation. It's definitely been challenging, I will admit, uh, especially the first couple days when I was just really, really sore and really, really swollen and just felt kind of helpless. Thankful that I have a husband who is very helpful and my mother-in-law was here to help out as well with our kids. So I didn't need to do anything to take care of my kids or the house for a couple days, so that was great. Again, my main reason for doing this is just to share with you my story so that way if you are gonna be having a Mohs surgery for skin cancer on your nose or really anywhere on your face, I think it's all the same procedure. It's good to maybe hear from somebody who has experienced it. I will be doing more updates to say how things are healing. I know it will definitely take a good six months to have the scar be gone. So I can't expect it to heal overnight. It will take time. It will definitely take patience. I did forget to mention with all the swelling, I was also icing it. I did a lot of icing the two days following the surgery just to get some of that swelling down. I mean, compared to how bad the swelling was the two days after, it is so much better now. I finally have my eyesight back. This part of my face has been kind of sagging, but I could feel that this is coming back too. Thank you for watching and if you felt led to praying for my procedure and I will keep you updated.